All right, welcome to the RDB Rotary Draw Bender 50. And this is Bailey's entry level bender. Reason, under a grand. So it's a good price. And the big deal about this versus a lot of them is you don't have to repin. You can go all the way around to 200 degrees without repinning. And then once you repin a few times on a normal machine, that's a big deal. So I'm gonna show you how this works. Now this thing will go up to two and a half inch mild steel. You're basically clicking this thing through. It's gonna notch in just like a lot of the uh, Bailey benders do. Notching in. And really this, this bender will do just about anything that a lot of the higher end benders are gonna do. But as you can tell, you know, with an entry level, instead of using hydraulics, the only difference is you're gonna get a workout. You're gonna get huge like I am. But this is two inch tube. I mean, this is 120 wall steel. This will do up to two and a half steel and two inch chromoly. So it's a lot of work that it has to do. Now, what I'm gonna do is kind of show you how you release it. There's this mechanism that you pull, release it back. We get it close and I'm gonna pull just a little bit of pressure off in order to take the notch, take the release. Now, as this swings, we're basically in neutral, so to speak. We can pull it back around and then let me get around the side and it's real easy to pull your pin and get your tube out. Now, if you want to change your speeds, one of the cool things about this, it's got three speeds. Now for the big two inch tube that we were just using, you want to use the slow. That's what we're on now. In order to change it, just wiggle it around a little bit, switch it out. We'll pull it around to the, the high speed now you get a lot more ratcheting action, you get a lot more distance, and if you're using some thin tube, you can get it done a lot faster. So, that's a pretty cool machine. The things I learned in my job, this is called a U-strap. Now normally, these really aren't accurate at all. They're welded, they're kind of nasty. This is called a hook sleeve, and it's machined, and it's got a removable, replaceable piece. So once it gets some wear in it, you'll actually be able to replace that, something you won't find in most entry-level machines like this. 